Welcome to Mac Helpers and welcome to App Your Way to Numbers. In this video, I'm going to go over the basics of numbers and just kind of a whole introduction to the layout and how the app actually functions. So I'm going to go ahead and open up numbers here. And so when you first open up numbers, it's going to bring you to the dashboard. Now this is just where all your files, spreadsheets, budgets, whatever you're using numbers for will be saved right here on the dashboard. Now let's jump right into it. The first thing on the left, see how when I first click on it, it kind of turns dim? That just means I'm actually pressing it. So you're going to see that kind of happen a lot and just listen to my voice as well because I'm going to be instructing you how to do all these things mostly through my voice and just by the light gradient changes that happen with iOS 7 and the program I'm using to record this. So when you first look at it or first tap that plus button, you're going to see how to create a spreadsheet, copy one or download one or sh and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and if you click create spreadsheet, it's going to bring a bunch of templates from the blank stuff all the way up. But we'll go over that in a second. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. Now if you hit the plus sign again, it's going to be copy from iTunes. See, I don't have any spreadsheets in my iTunes, so it's that's why it's showing me no spreadsheets. But if you had something saved on iTunes, it will pop up right there. Click cancel. And web DAV, that just means you can copy, you can remotely access uh, a server, whether it be from work or from school or whatever. Uh, that's This is where you can log in and get the access to it from that point. So click on cancel there. The next one is the screen, or is the share. That's a little square with the arrow. Now it gives you three options, share link via iCloud, send a copy, or open another app. Let's go ahead and click on share link via iCloud. So then it brings up the blue bar across the top, and then you can go ahead and pick which one you want to share. So let's go ahead and click this one, for example. It's going to give you a couple of different options here, and I don't really want to do anything there, so I'm just going to show you that those are the different options you get. Click cancel, right back to the normal screen, share again send a copy there and then it gives you a couple different options as well and then the last one is open in another app so we'll click that and let's go ahead and open up that one again and then it's going to ask you how, which format you want to send it out as so let's go let's say we want to send it as a csv file it's going to convert it for you and then you can go ahead and choose which app you want to open it up with and then it's going to give you a list of different apps that you could use that are actually on your ipad already and we'll go ahead and click cancel on there. So that's the share button. Now let's go over to the question mark. This is what's cool about apples. They they also give you kind of a little cheat sheet. And so when you click that question mark like I just did, it brings up a little things about how to do each one. So import a spreadsheet, share it, uh, hide coaching tips, or duplicate or edit spreadsheets. And let's go ahead and if you see how that, this one has an arrow next to it, it's going to bring up an even more helpful section. But I'll go into that a little bit later in the book. And the last one is your edit. So you can go in here and select multiples or just select one. And then if you go to the top left here, it's got the little plus icon. So you can, that's, I just straight up copied it. If you had multiples selected, you can hit that and it's going to say duplicate three spreadsheets. Or if you only had, if you only had two, we'll say two. And then the next one is the trash can. So I have two selected. So it says delete two spreadsheets. So go ahead and delete those. And that's basically it. Now let's go ahead and show you uh, how to create a spreadsheet. So you can either hit this plus one right here or you can go ahead and click the plus sign up there. So let's go ahead and create a spreadsheet. Then it's going to bring you to a whole list of templates that Apple has already made for you. So the basics are just these four across the top and those are going to be pretty much blank sheets for you to go ahead and start with. Then you can go down and look at the personal financing from net worth to retirement savings to mortgage calculators. You can go down into personal things such as calendar, baby records. Uh, now let's scroll down to business from employee schedules, invoices, ROIs, financials, education would be GPAs, your grade books, attendance, all that kind of cool stuff. But just to keep it simple, I'm going to go ahead and just open up a blank spreadsheet. Now, perfect, it pops right up. Now, if you want to change the name of the table first, or I should just start with how you select a cell. You can just tap and pick whatever cell you want to. And then if you want to type in a cell, you double tap that cell. Then it brings up the, the keyboard and it's going to give you a couple different options. And then you can just go ahead and start typing and all that good stuff. Hit next and it's going to go right down to the next one. And then you can go ahead and click the plus sign for more spreadsheets. Now if you look on, see how it's on the top left, I'll go over across this top bar so you can click on spreadsheets. It's going to bring you right back to your dashboard. Any pretty much anything in this good rule of thumb, anytime you need to go back, always look to the top left. And then if you were doing something, you can undo so it just 
deleted that last sheet. Then you got your, your details bar, your paintbrush, you got the plus sign where you can add documents, tables, charts, text, shapes. Then you go to your toolbar with the wrench tool, which has got a bunch of different things where you can actually search into it, settings, set passwords if you need to password protect this particular one. And then they also have another share link or share button right inside there as well. And then you got your, your question mark. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any questions, go to machelpers.com and uh, go to the under the questions tab and you could enter anything there. That's gonna be the best way to communicate with us. And that's it for this video. Yeah, like I said, you can email questions to info at yourmachelpers.com or go to machelpers.com and you'll see uh, a questions tab right across the top on the home screen. So thank you very much and check out the next video.